Hey, it's Archer again. Uh, I don't know if I've ever talked to you about this before on this YouTube channel, but um, I had kicked around the idea of starting a motor club for towers, you know, specifically by towers and for towers so that we can get better rates for our for our, the services that we provide. But, you know, I mean, I've, I've already decided against it and there's a couple of reasons why and I'm going to want to explain it to you in this video okay um, the first thing that reason is um, we're gonna to have to compete with the motor clubs customers so the motor clubs customers are not actually the motorists for the most part I'm not not talking all of them for the most part they're not actually the motorists who are driving their cars on the road they're actually the car manufacturers, the the big corporate uh, customers, the um, the, the uh, cell phone providers, you know, the, those type of, of service providers, insurance companies, those are the big big the big Kahuna's that that those motor club that those the motor clubs mainly go after. Now, of course, there are the ones, the types of motor clubs who, who set up basically a a landing page and they do SEO and they they want people to call them. And then they call a towing company. So they have people who, who land on a page, they pick up the phone, they call them, and they, they, the motor club purports to be a towing company. And then the, the motorist tells them, what, tells them what they need, and they then contact a towing company, local, or that could be contracted, that could be non-contracted, and they make money on the spread. They say, okay, it's going to cost $230. They pay the towing company $100, and they keep $130. There are those, but it's not the majority of them. So if you were to start your own motor club, you would be competing for those same big those same big entities, okay? And when you compete for that, that means you're going to have to give those entities concessions because all of those motor clubs already have. Allstate, Quest, Tejero, all of them have given made concessions, which means lower rates for the towers so that the motorists can afford the actual roadside assistance insurance, and and if and if the company is the one sub, sub, subsidizing it, the company can afford it. So so you have to you'd have to compete against that. And then what does that do? That brings your your rates down for the towers. They don't get the money that that, that they need to provide the services, right? And they get very little money, I should say. The second reason for that is getting buy-in from from motorists. Um, so if you even if you did not have to depend upon those big um, clients, those big corporations, manufacturers, you could maybe create an app, and other people have done it, right? Other companies have created an app. But the problem with that is you have to get buy-in from the motorist to put the app on their phone and then to use the app, right? problem there is most motorists change their phone on a regular basis, like once every year or two years. And... They only use the services of a towing company every th once every three to five years. So if they switch their phones, the app may not go from one phone to the other. And even if it does, it may not even they may not, may not even remember that it is there. Okay. Besides, they've always got Google. They can always go to Google and go tow truck near me. Right. And they can always search for that. So. An app is not a, a good thing. Even if you didn't have an app, you would have to rely on web on the on the web right so that means you're you need to have search engine optimization for the entire country now it's been done i'm not saying that it hasn't been done but to get the to get the type of uh, or the number of the volume of calls that you need for this you would have to have some really really good seo and google is constantly messing with that seo so it's going to your it's need it needs more and more and more work on a regular basis so what I suggest, what I suggest is that rather than trying to create our own motor club, rather than trying to compete against these these huge uh, entities like AAA or I don't know Road Road America, whoever else is out there, that we work on our own we work on our own sandbox, right? What's our own sandbox? It's our local market, right? We can control that. Local SEO is not as difficult as global SEO or even national SEO. Okay, search engine optimization. If you focus on your local area, you're going to have a much better, a much better opportunity to not only 
rank higher, but you're also going to have, have the ability to be found by your people in your area who, who already know your, your business, right? So local SEO is the way to go. Of course, the problem is that a lot of people either, one, don't understand it, and that's, it. of course, it's very difficult to understand. But the bigger problem is they Others don't believe in it, don't believe that it is a thing, you know. They, then there's a third problem, and that is those who believe in it think they understand it, think they know how to do it, but actually don't. Okay, so that's that can be a problem. So that, that could be why your, your web presence is floundering at this moment, okay. So um, SEO, local SEO works, and that's exactly what we do for our clients. We do other things as well. We help you with your business. We help you get more calls, close close more of those calls, even if you don't know your way around a computer, you suck at sales, and you don't have the time to learn. That's what we do here at the Toe Academy. So hope this video was helpful for you. We're not going to be doing a motor club. What we do, we're going to focus on the things that we can control. And what we can control right now is search engine optimization for your business. So an optimized website lifts your Google business listing and it also helps you show up more in the search results for your web pages. So you need a optimized website for your business. But you know, the other thing about this is it's not just, um, it's, when you have a website, you, you have to have a website that's a representation of your business. I mean, even if you're just a service area business, regardless, service area business or people actually visit you at your place, you need a steady stream of new customers, right? So one thing is the the SEO that gets you in front of new searches, new search results, people searching for tow truck. But the other thing is you need to have some sort of a representation of your business. And where else are you going to get that? I mean, you going to buy a billboard. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Um, so you need a representation online of your business. And that means a, something that's not generic, doesn't have tow trucks from freaking Europe in it, doesn't have people wearing these blue jumpers walking around, or, or just generic pictures. You need pictures of your tow trucks, right? And so what we do is we create the, a website using your tow trucks. And if we have to use stock images, because what we want to do is we want to represent all of the services you provide in both content, written content, and with images, okay? And if you want to do video, we suggest you do do video, then we can help you with that as well. I mean, if you need aerial, aerial footage, any kind of thing like that, or suggestions on how to take photos, um, we, we, we do all of this stuff. We coordinate it with you. So if you need help with it, don't hesitate to, to, uh, to, to call out, okay? We're here all the time. Anyway, that's it for today. This is Don from the Toe Academy. I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.